pretty amazing that Raph thinks that people will want to watch me uh, do my thing, my routine, which is pretty flattering, although I don't think anyone's really going to want to watch it. But we're going we're gonna to do it anyway today. At 12 o'clock here, in about one minute when we go upstairs, we're going to be meeting with our total executive team. It's pretty exciting. So all of our executives, for all 380 of our people, the, the main executives that have the biggest impact on the organization, they're all together at the same time. And what they have to do is they have to self-monitor and chart the uh, each one of the departments with their quality, the quality, the revenue, pretty much everything that that goes into. Uh, I can get that. Everything that goes into um, making sure our organization runs smooth is what we review in the next, you know, in about two minutes from now. So it's, I love this meeting. It lets me, it lets me check the temperature on everything that we're doing. Today's film deck. Um, we were at 267 last week, uh, 225 this week, which is excellent. Um, just to uh, just to kind of mention to put that in perspective, uh, back at the beginning of June we were over 600 hours um, being held. So it's nice to keep see that trend just kind of like stay flat, uh, if you will. Yeah, it's <clears throat> a little bit lower than uh, the trend. I think. I mean, well, at least it's not shooting up right away. It should be right eventually. Yeah, it should yeah, go back up. These are cyclical, so. Yeah, we typically have around, what, six to eight weeks of downtime before big off pushes mm -hmm. kind of cycle. What do, you, what, do you, what, what do you think attributes to the, the, the high level of um, hours in queue or, or money help? No, I mean, it's just having, I think it's, I think, it's, what do you, it's correct like me if I'm cycle, wrong. The but cycle that goes up. Like, yeah. It's probably just accepting, um, you know, more authorizations during that period of time. So uh, when it first started going up, that was probably three months after the summer when we took 50 yep. some odd cases. Just accepting yeah. these pretty much? Yeah, yeah, yeah like a, a lot of them at, at a time. That means their authorizations all roll over at the same time, so right. we're going to have more in our queue. Yeah, more outstanding typically like one a day expires. Uh, but at our oh, height question. in the cycle, mm -hmm. we have like two, three, right. four a day, like within a short time period. It's averaging like three, four a day that are expiring. So that just the number of thoughts changing over jumps up. It's also nice to see though, um, when we were at the we were at this level before, it was back in April. Um, but think of how much more business we have since then, and it's still hitting that, that low point. So that's nice to see. So in a nutshell, what you're saying though, Joe, is that <clears throat> it's it's based on waves of us accepting cases and, and, and nothing else that you're aware of. Uh, I mean, depending on who gets their plan in on time, things like that. Okay. There yeah. could be some chance of it too. I mean, they, it's just the more authorizations that if we take more authorizations, while we have a lot of authorizations turning over, it's just going to compound the effect. And then if we take more authorizations when we don't have a lot, it's going to even things out. So it's less cyclical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I call them back if they think it's a collection agency. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think because I call enough, but you know. So do collection agencies, so I don't know. But um, all right, I checked in with Caroline. She was another one that happened to be at the spa training when I was doing check-in, so I didn't call. I just sent her a text. Um, she said that she did start her case. She went out last night, which was Thursday of last week, and she's going back on Wednesday. Um, she said she only wants to stay with the one case for now, if that's okay. Um, I've been in touch with Melissa, who is my mentor. I'm going to call her after the training to make sure I did the note and my timesheet correct. I would rate my job satisfaction a five. Everyone has been so great and supportive. Angela and John overlapped with her on her first meeting with the family. Wait, hold on one second. Mm -hmm. Can you get closer to her? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting so like, I'm getting red in the face. Wait, 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 we had like the nostril shot. <laughs> Do your thing, man. <laughs> no, he does his Thanks, thing. Thanks, Brett. Over the shoulder. shoulder. Like now that. I'm going to be really red in yeah, the, in the film. Around. You're like, oh shit, it's red. <laughs> I like the original. I'm trying to pretend he's not there. Happen. Nothing against you, Ralph. But. <laughs> We moved into our new place Thursday, so she's taking half in the day. Um, what? I don't know. Let's make closer to work, so it's super exciting. No more commute. 
she just got back from vacay. She went to South Carolina? Yes. And like an 18 hour drive that could have been done in six per mat. Yeah. Or a plane ride, so three. How was <laughs> it? How was the vacation? It was nice. It was nice to unplug, but I was really excited to get back because I knew I had a lot of work to do. As, as uh, Pierre would say, reboot. Yes, yeah, so I'm rebooted and I'm refreshed and I'm ready to go. Like refuel. Half day of work every day that's consistent and it's working with preschoolers and she loves little kids and she worked with them last year too. Um, yeah. We'll just have her like expand on some things she can learn under Heidi, which right. will be really good. Um, I don't know if she worked with Heidi at Hain uh, Haddonfield. She either worked with Heidi or Andrea. I could totally do that. I can give them the whole, you know, the sub language and all that stuff. Yeah, just let them know that something fell through with the contract. Cool. And like this is this is the the life of a, a BDA, BDA full timer. But chances are we'll get something else coming. It's perfect in the near future. Mm, right now, I'm a little bit late, but we I usually do a meeting with Pierre Lewis at 3:30. Pierre's our executive director of training and development. The guy's like, I like to call the chief heart officer, chief heart officer, C-H-O, because he's got a really big freaking heart and uh, it's, he's just a super guy, like one of the best people I know around as far as integrity, ethics, professionalism, and just an all around good person. So we're gonna meet with him now. I was just talking you up to the camera for a minute, and uh, Raf was just gonna uh, What's up, Raf? say hi. What it? This is Pierre's office. Often up there, he's got things that are uh, pending items. I don't know. Yeah, these are either pending things. items or I like to just kind of keep the things. You know, we, we talk a lot. We talk about a lot of things. Sometimes they're global things. Sometimes they're a little bit more specific. I like to just make sure I get the things that are on my mind. Brett has things on his phone. I like to have things on my phone, but sometimes I just put them up here so that way I make sure we get to it by the end of our meeting. So this is just a way of, uh, you know, just making sure I get to some important things. So, uh, you know, we're going to be talking a little bit about credentialing. We've got some folks who have some niches and we just want to talk about what their niches are in the company. Um, coaching, so just different things. It depends on the meeting, but today, those are some of the things I wanted to make sure I got to with my man. On social media, I wanted to just read my ad. I guess when it comes to people that want to go, they're they're on track to be an entrepreneur, start their own business. I strongly believe that, although it requires business acumen and to be a savvy business owner and to look at the financials, I think that you really have to live by the golden rule. So when you run a business. I think the majority of the time you have to give people the benefit of the doubt. So in other words, people might scam you a little bit by saying things like, oh, I already paid for that and I didn't get my service. I, I think it's important that you often err on the side of um, you know, being generous and, and grateful that they're a client or a customer. And if you're a business owner, you should also just live by the golden rule. So you know, basically just knowing that um, you know, I'm going to treat that person the way I want to be treated back. I think the golden rule friggin' applies to everything. Some people would say the golden rule, like Donald Trump would say, he who has the gold makes the rules. But that's not really what the golden rule is. The golden rule is just treating people the way you want to be treated. Now today was a pretty good day. We, uh, this morning, we looked at all the key performance indicators. Uh, it was it was really good. Everything's on an upward trend as far as uh, quality and revenue. I had a great meeting with Pierre today. He got back from vacation. I love when when people go on vacation, man, and they just they tell me how they it was refreshing and they spend time with their family. I mean, that, that's awesome. It makes me feel so good that Pierre got away from it all. I try not to text people while they're away. Every once in a while I slip by accident, I can't help it. But uh, we, we had the interviews today. We interviewed four or five people on the panel interview. I don't think I'd, I don't think we, we would hire any of them, probably. But who knows, because if they turn in, if they turn in their um, assignments that we do, and if those assignments are really done excellent, then it's possible we might end up hiring them. So, uh, uh, it was overall like a perfect day. The way I see it, <clears throat> the day has to be perfect. Like there's no, there's really no other option than it being perfect because every little mistake in the day is a perfect mistake because you just end up responding to it and then fixing it so that it's less likely to happen again. 
day in a life.